I went back up on stage for the very first time like two nights ago. First time in years. And I bombed like a motherfucker. It was the worst I've ever done in my life. It was so bad. And I'm like, and for him, like, it's like this, all these people. I'm worried about these few people, right? He's got all these people, and I'm like, I'm worried about like a few people that don't even, like, who the fuck cares? I'm blown away. But it was really bad. Like, I, like, I sweated so much beforehand, like, I, I had wiped my ass. I didn't poop. I just, like, had a lot of sweat there. I had to get it out. It ner made me nervous. Red face, sweating, just, <laughs> you know, it was the worst I've ever done. And I had my phone out, too. I was doing this. Which I, I'm, seriously. I had my phone out, and I was trying to do new material, and I was like, <sighs> <laughs> and for a minute there, I was like, it's been a long time since I said something, you know? It's just, uh, I should say something. And, I, and the funny thing is, the jokes that I had were like, not really my character, they were jokes I wrote, right? And I'm like, I'm just gonna try them, but they're like cocky jokes. Doesn't only really play well when you're sitting there fucking going, uh, just sweat, just so red and just like, uh, people tell me that I had big dick energy. Uh, <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining me in this new format. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this. I'm going to kind of change things up a little bit. It's going to be a little different, but I think you're going to enjoy it. So real quick, I want to tell you guys one of my favorite new songs here. I don't think I can play it. I'm going to play it, but I don't think you should be able to hear it because I don't want to get like marked on YouTube or whatever. But this song has got me just I, I don't know why i like it so much but I, I just i just found it i'm sure it's been popular for a while but i i love it okay it's called cinderella's dead by emmeline i'm gonna listen to it real quick i just want you to hear this drop i may just play the drop here it comes ready for this oh damn i, I just like it i like it it makes me feel good Makes me feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> I want to feel like a bad bitch, Dan. Check it out on Spotify. Cinderella's Dead by Emmeline. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't really know. This video is brought to you by Dan Catherine Studios. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's my business. Check it out. We are a content marketing and online advertising production studio. Full service, baby. DanCatherineStudios.com bringing you these episodes. So, um, <laughs> I've been binging Supernatural lately. Like crazy, it's Halloween time, I've been binging it. Honestly, it's, it's a bit like a crazy person, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's just kind of what I turn on. It's what I turn on when I turn on the TV. When I eat, usually I have something on. Uh, so it's been kind of a thing, I've been going through it. And I realized, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's on Netflix now, it's, it was on CW for like 15 seasons, this show. It's, it's pretty good, but I've, I've realized a lot of episodes that I haven't seen, so it's basically like I'm watching it for the first time. In the light of Halloween, I want to react to a trailer that I haven't seen yet, but I've heard a lot of um, I've heard a lot of stuff about it. I've heard that people have been fainting in theaters and throwing up and leaving. I'm sure that it's publicity. I can't say publicity. I'm sure it's publicity. I, I still can't say it right. <laughs> I'm sure it's publicity. It's working. Uh, it's working uh, because I want to watch it now. I'm not gonna watch the movie, obviously, but I do want to watch the trailer. I'll throw it up on the screen as soon as I find it, and we can watch it together. <laughs> it's called Terrifier 2. I don't know if you heard about this, but I'm about to watch the trailer here. Let's see. So, Let's turn did it you out figure out what you're dressing on. up as tomorrow? He wants to dress up as a real guy who murdered nine people last year. Oh, you're not doing that. It's just a costume. You think that guy's still out there? What's up with you and this clown all of a sudden? You're like obsessed. They never found his body. What if he decides to come back here? I've never seen the first one, by the way. I don't know what this is, really. Wait a minute. Aren't you that guy from the costume shop? Sir, what are you doing? Clowns. It wasn't me. He was covered in blood on his shirt and his hands Looks when he got indie. here. Looks kind of indie. You're really weird, you know that? <laughs> I believe him. 
About what? I thought this was. Something really bad with boys. I thought this was like a major. Something's wrong. Um, Look, we're gonna have fun. Mm-hmm. Movie. Stress-free environment. Well, guests with us today, all the way from Wiles County. Please welcome Art the Clown. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to. Let, let me just say, I. Oh God, I shouldn't have done this. I, I don't want to talk badly about movies. Okay, I don't want to talk badly about anybody. That is not my intention. That's not what I want to do. If I don't like something, generally, I don't talk about it. So I want to continue on that. <laughs> um, shifting gears. Uh, I did a comedy. Uh, I got a new sit-down comedy that I'm about to show for you. Uh, it's it's new material. So I've been doing stand-up comedy uh, lately, and I've been writing a lot. So I actually thought they might be better um, to do for the sit-down comedies for the for for you. That's why I'm kind of doing this little show type of thing. Uh, I thought they'd be better for this. Hopefully you enjoy it. It's about the Sante water. Not my favorite. Check it out. I want you to know something. I'd rather drink water out of a garden hose than have a Dasani water bottle. Okay? It's gross. Grow up. Get some taste buds. All right? You're drinking pool water. It's gross. Do you want some Dasani? No, I don't want some Dasani. Do I want chlorine water with a little dirt and a slight aftertaste of piss? No. I don't. No, thank you. Coca-Cola is not a natural spring. I don't know if you know this, but Coca-Cola makes Dasani. Where did they get the water from? Probably from Coke. If I was to take a guess, it's Coke piss. You're drinking Coke piss. That's the water you're choosing. The liquid that Coke disposes of. Enjoy it, psycho. Do you want a Dasani? No, I've got my own, thanks. Hope you enjoyed that comedy. Before I get to, I'm gonna do a spotlight. So I wanna spotlight a creator that I like. Uh, Before I get to that, I just wanna give you a little word of encouragement. You know, it can be tough doing what you wanna do and going for things that you actually want in life. And I just wanna give you a word of encouragement to say, you know, just keep going. I know it's cliche, but it can get hard, especially when you're actually trying to do it and you're not seeing success or when you're planning and you kind of get in your head and you're just wanting to move forward. You're wanting to to do this thing that maybe you've always wanted to do and you maybe just can't bring yourself to do it. If that's you, then my advice is to just take some baby steps. Take some small little baby steps towards that. Say, hey, I'm just going to do a test shoot today. I'm just going to write a paragraph. It may be a journal, but I'm just going to write. I'm just going to see how this mic sounds and start talking into it and record it. I want to do a podcast or I'm just going to see what this website might look like so just take baby steps towards that and if and i think that's really going to help you and you're going to actually start taking action and then actually doing what you really want to do and if you're been doing it for a little bit and you're struggling to figure it out take a step back assess plan look to what 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 you've been doing what you like and what you don't like reevaluate and then make a new plan for where you want to go now that's part of the evolution of what we do and in life is is we make plans we take action we're doing them and then we got to take time to also reevaluate, look, and then redirect and keep going. You're always in movement. And if you're standing still, you're kind of going backwards. If you're making adjustments as you go, and then you're still going, you're going to find success. You're going to see the end of the road. You're going to keep going and you're going to do whatever it is you're meant to do, I think. You, know, you find these little things and, and, and readjust and keep going. I think that's the point. Keep going. Takes baby action steps. Keep going. Start a little bit going and then you're going to find success because I think happiness is found 
whenever you are in movement. It's found whenever you are like progress, any progress you'll find, you can find some happiness. And so that's my advice. Hopefully you continue doing what you want to do. You go for what you want to do and uh, you're happy when you're doing it. Okay. That was the moment of Zen or a uh, word of encouragement. <laughs> Last thing I want to do before I go, I want to spotlight somebody. I may do other things where I spotlight people uh, like businesses, or I might spotlight uh, somebody that I know. I might, you know, show you a bit of an interview at some point. I don't know. I, this is just something that I've always kind of want to do and kind of share, even though I'm a nobody right now, I do want to spotlight other creators and other people and they're big. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just basically spotlighting someone that I like and I think is great. Today's spotlight is Emma Chamberlain. I I am such a fan of Emma Chamberlain. I know she doesn't need me to spotlight her and show people like, hey, go watch Emma Chamberlain, but she's fantastic. I've been a fan of hers for a long time. Uh, she vlogged on YouTube. She has a podcast now. She has Chamberlain Coffee, uh, which is her personal coffee brand that she's built. So she got popular on YouTube and it was very like, the thing that I think that made her a rock star was this very, she vlogged and it was, it was very relaxed and very chill and not showy. The opposite of that. It was very just like she was in her house, like doing nothing a lot of times. And it was, and you're just kind of with her. And so, you know, you would, it, it's the kind of videos I think a lot of people, when they're making videos, it's also why I like it. That They're like, I got nothing to talk about. I got nothing to do. Nothing's going on. In my life's so boring. And, and her life, a lot of times, you know, she was just doing her real life. It wasn't like an act, you know, it was, it was a boring day. Right. But it was entertaining with her because even, even though she, she wasn't like doing stuff. She wasn't Robin Williams and telling jokes and hi ah, and trying to do all this stuff that I'm doing, right? <laughs> But she was just laying around and talking and she's funny. She's funny. So it's it kind of felt like you were just hanging out with your friend. And that's kind of how our podcast is. And she says that it's kind of like you're on the phone with a friend. I'm not lying to you guys. I go immediately downstairs when I wake up. Hello. <laughs> Oh my God, why? Wait a minute. This is my Kramer. And I guess my refrigerator is on a really cold setting because please listen to this. It's, it's frozen solid. What? I remember a few videos ago, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna start daily vlogging, which will never happen. I will never daily vlog, but what's a little harm in doing a little daily vlog every once in a while? What's crazy to me is I used to just used to vlog my random days, literally vlog me doing fucking nothing and somehow people liked it and then I got in my head about it and I was like, there's no way, Emma, that people wanna see you driving to a coffee shop, editing in it for two hours, going and getting food and then going home. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. So the first thing I do in the morning, well, you don't care. I was gonna be like, the first thing I do in the morning is make a coffee so that I feel really awake throughout the day. <laughs> Emma, shut up. Okay, good news. Even though my other ones were frozen, I do have a not frozen one. That is very, very hot to me. I got Emma Chamberlain vibes for sure, but I think that we're also just uh, similar people. Maybe that's why I'm attracted to her and I, and I like her because it's like we have commonalities that I I like, and of course we make content and stuff like that. We should date, is what I'm trying to say. We should we should probably date. No, uh, <laughs> I just I like her so much. I like her as a filmmaker. Uh, I think she's hilarious and she's got a very unique style, and I I'm just a fan. So. Check her out, Emma Chamberlain, on YouTube, on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you're at, check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Dan Catherine. Hopefully you enjoyed this new style of video. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Yeah, hopefully you'll come back for more. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one.